Hello everybody, I'm Brianna and this is Purified People and today I want to pick back up from where I left off a couple of days ago. Now a couple of days ago I mentioned how I look at the crypto charts and I compare them to our daily habits, our daily choices, and um, I kind of look at that volatility at the, as a volatility in our lives and um, compare those to the crypto charts. Now there's different types of coins in crypto, so this might be somewhat of a learning lesson to you if you're not familiar. Um, and one thing that I do and what I did, this is a presentation that I'm gonna show you. This presentation was something that I presented in front of my peers from the Kings of DeFi course from the London Real Academy. So I presented in front of my peers and also in front of Brian Rose. So that was daunting, but it was super exciting and adrenaline <laughs> rushed. And yeah, it was just super fun. Um, definitely kept me out of my comfort zone. Um, but this was an idea that came into my mind and I have big plans for this idea. So I'm not going to share every bit of it um, because it's my baby, but I will share a little bit just to give you a glimpse inside what I mean when I say that I compare our choices to the crypto charts, because I think it's a really great way for us to look at our daily habits and choices and see if it's leading us to our higher purpose or our life vision, our 10 year vision, our ultimate goal, whatever we wanna call it. Um, and some of us might not even have that defined at this point. But um, anyways, I just wanna give you guys a little glimpse inside of my presentation and um, hopefully you'll learn a little bit about crypto along the way. So crypto and life and it'll all be in one. So here we go. Okay, so let me get to my slideshow. And I'm, I can't see myself on my screen. Hopefully I'll be able to um, when this is all said and done, but I'm not sure where my face is on the screen, so it might be covering something up. But anyways, we have three categories of coins, three main categories of coins in crypto. And those are stable coins, altcoins, and blue chips. Now, the, a stable coin chart um, is going to look like this. It's a complete line. A stable coin is pegged to the US dollar and there's no volatility. It remains at the same price. Its value does not move up or down and it has minimal risk, or at least it did when I, when I did this presentation. Some things have happened. Some shit has gone down <laughs> since then, but, um, it's still, there are some stable coins out there that are relatively safe, but the minimal risk that I'm referring to in this chart is within um, losing your assets. So with stable coins, oftentimes what I was doing is moving my um, my investments into stable coins as the market shifted. Um, and when our funds are in those stable coins, they don't, there's no volatility. So they just stay at that same price. And now I'll move on to the altcoin charts. So this is showing at this point in time, this was a couple months ago, like I said, Polkadot and Immutable X. So those are both altcoins. And there's many, many altcoins, thousands of altcoins. And as you can see, there is high volatility, a lot more risk involved. There's less predictability. They're less established for long-term success. And the, um, and it varies greatly from coin to coin. The volatility is going to vary greatly from coin to coin. Now, if we look at the chart of a blue chip, now blue chips are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, those are the blue chips in crypto. They are established. There's more stability, so there's less volatility. Um, there's lo they're longer term investments. They're less, there's less volatility than altcoins. They have positive reputations and their overall prediction to continue on an upward trend. Okay, now I want, I wish I had a way to draw on this right now. Um, actually I can. And I wanna just point out, let's see, I think I can do a line. Okay, so I just wanna point out here with the Bitcoin chart, that this is where a lot of people look at it and they're going, oh my gosh, it's going way up and then it goes way down and then it goes way up and then it goes way down. But this is the way you look at that. 
And this is what we see when we look at the Bitcoin chart, right? As this is going up, so there's one line and I'll do another one. Anyways, you can see, you get the gist. I was gonna do another one there. Bitcoin and Ethereum, they both are on an upward trend for success. Now moving on to the next slide. Um, so relating crypto value to our individual life value. Think hard about your individual life, past and present. Which chart reflects the volatility of your life up to this point? Are you an altcoin? Are you a stable coin? Or are you a blue chip? If you had a choice, which type of coin would you want to be? Now, I think everybody would say, or everybody deep down knows that they would choose to be a blue chip and it's on its path to success. It's accelerated path to success. And what we define here, what we defined within our course was our 10 year vision. So that is what we're wanting, to, but that's our aim, having that 10 year vision, that outlook, that's our, what we want to achieve in 10 years. Um, and throughout this, we really did a whole visualization and really dug deep into what, how, what we visualized and used all of our senses to feel that 10 year vision. And um, then, you know, what happens next is then all of our daily choices should come in alignment with making that happen. And if we choose to do that, if we look at our choices in that way, then we will achieve our goals quicker and we will start compounding daily habits and practices and achieving that 10 year vision. And that doesn't, doesn't just come to investments. This comes to every area, oops, every area of our life. Um, whether it's our diet, whether it's our nutrition, whether it's our working out, whether it is just our parenting, our emotional, any points of our life. So right here, I put, let us visualize for a moment that rather than holding and trading crypto, we are holding and trading practices that contribute to our life goals or our 10 year vision. So here it shows the present and there's different levels of all of the different charts and here's the future. It's all kind of going together. Now, I don't know how much I want to um, share, but I do kind of want to go into um, one more thing here. And mainly, you don't have to worry about the cold wallet storage, but mainly what I wanted to show is those different areas broken down. So that financial life, our health and fitness, our emotional life, our intellectual, spiritual, character, relationships, social life, parenting, creativity, quality of life, and our life vision. Those are all kind of our key areas of our lives. And once we assess those areas and kind of see and grasp where we are lacking and what is doing well and what can what what is being maintained and then what where we are lacking um then that gives us an idea of where we need to place focus and what's holding us back from achieving our goals so i just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse within that um i'm going to cancel out of my um screen share here so i just wanted to give you guys that little glimpse inside of my presentation and give you that visualization of what i mean when i'm saying that i compare our choices to um, investments in crypto, the way that the charts go up and down. Um, and it really helps for me to visualize my choices like that throughout my days so that I can start to see if I'm if I'm carrying on an upward trend. Um, it's really easy to just kind of go about our day and be stuck in our daily habits and patterns that aren't really serving us, that are just keeping us comfortable, that are keeping us just kind of on that stable coin um, path or be more like an altcoin and go, you know, go to extremes, you know, of like having to be altered, whether you're going to drink a lot of alcohol and then the next day feel, you know, have a bunch of things that make you feel great and then have a bunch of things that make you feel bad the next day and have a life of high volatility. Maybe your emotional life's out of whack or maybe you're um, just totally out of shape and not healthy and not feeling well. And that's making it so you're not able to digress and feel um, motivated to do anything else. And um, I really look at this as just something that is helps as a key and kind of a map 
Um, we have a lot of volatility in our worlds. And so the areas that we can control and where we can empower ourselves, um, I see those as being a priority, especially during these times. So um, that's just kind of what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm going to continue on um, on the path of this and kind of dive deeper and share as I go. Um, and that's what I have for today. So um, I don't know. I see this kind of lasting long. I don't want to make uh, exact time frames or promises on what days will be what because there's a lot coming in from different angles that I want to share. Um, but I hope that you decide to come along for the ride. Um, and I, like I've said before, I do have big plans for this and I really hope that you join in the process of, um, just uncovering it all. And, um, just please go ahead and subscribe and follow me along. And if you have any comments, please drop them below. Curious to see what you think. And that's what I have for today. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. And um, I hope that you take this to heart and just see if it can help and benefit you in the areas of your lives today. So take care. I'll see you tomorrow.